we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Exactly, did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, though? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? I was door knocking all morning, but I got a make on the car in the end. Mm -hmm. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Paul, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's ground team. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran for... Breathe, no. Breathe, damn it! He ran, for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give it? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Mark here. Maker's Mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned his rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Shelley may have also killed... Hey, come on! And how do we prove that? Skipper ain't gonna like this one, man. 
gonna have to rely on this guy zipping up on his own vanity. Any central units four five nine suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat, toes. We're all on the same team, Russell. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? Park, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have. Thank you. You can go now. See what they know about her. That's gonna be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. good to me. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Yes. 
smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. You found her lipstick. What did you write on her body? What are you talking about? I didn't write anything. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor. Close the store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Close the store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? Guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You can spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. Know what you're saying? The people of this country over to a king. Do you think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving?
Sergeant Fellows. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. OK. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Did you see Evelyn last night? No, I was at home, writing. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place, corner of 9th and Graham. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. I meant there's a suspect. I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never gonna work out much. We'll take a look around.
Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Exactly, did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The stupid thing about her was being drunk. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. She was an alcoholic and your friend, and you still kept selling her booze. You ever try to stop an addict detective? Better me than having her buy methylated spirits from the hardware store. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. When Evelyn bought the booze, did she say who she was meeting or where she was going? A young drinking friend of hers, I think. Don't recall his name. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. You sure you don't know McCaffrey? The book was in your room. I would have thought it was pretty obvious the book was among Evelyn's things. You think you have some way to link me to McCaffrey? I know life's not perfect. I'm sorry about how it turned out for Evelyn. But I don't think we have to destroy everything and start again. I'm no revolutionary. I thought you were Evelyn's friend, Robbins. You should learn some manners, some goddamn respect. We're catching murderers, not running a popularity contest. Why would you suggest we do that? What have we got to lose? Yeah, just me, that's all, that's all. Now, Charlie, don't you worry. He won't cut very deep. Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 K, Car 11 King, KGPL. 11 King. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. Eleven King, in or out. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps.
steady, come on! I don't know about you, but I feel more comfortable with the siren. What do you think? Car 11 King, go ahead with the further. 11 King, two 459 suspects sighted in the vicinity of the trolley station on Lucas Avenue between Court and Colton. You should have iced those folks. You leave no witnesses, you stay out of the park. Not riding all the way to Santa Ana and then on to Cincinnati with you pissing in my but ear. But I'm tired of always being on the lam. I don't have a choice. A stick up charge is still a stick up charge, and I ain't going back inside. You're both coming with me. Don't do anything stupid. Can be back in close. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. your head. Car 11K calling KGPL. Code 4 at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. The 459 suspects are in custody. Roger 11K. All units code 4 on the 459 suspects at the Lucas Avenue trolley station.